Hello guys, welcome to the online ITTuts.com. My name is Asif Ali. In this video, I am going to show you how you can insert multiple values um, in multiple tables using identity keyword. So, uh, identity keyword is used to get the um, last inserted record ID so I will tell you how you can do it uh, first of all uh, you need to open CQL server and then go to new query and then uh, create a database but I uh, have made a database namely a tutorial so I use it so how I can use it so simple process uh, write use keyword and then insert a database name so then you need to create the tables to uh, use uh, uh, identity keyword but first you need create a simple table so uh, I just create a simple table um, one or three right so I just write write a keyword key uh, create table and table name I insert table name imply and then I use the columns like um, ID integer primary key identity and I write one by one it means uh, the ID number start one and then increment one right and then I write uh, name and type I insert Varcha and Varcha range is 50 and then I use uh, create another column uh, salary and type int then I simply create the table so I just tell you how you can use identity keyword to insert multiple tables record here is a one table and uh, you can see it there are no any inserted record so then you need to create another table table for example I uh, insert uh, create uh, another table namely uh, address and uh, I simply use two columns ID uh, sorry uh, AD ID and uh, type integer same process primary key identity and then I enter second column name address address I just write this address because the address is keyword on SQL server so I just remove uh, one s then this is perfect for me so I just uh, type this type virtue and enter the range and then I need to create another column to make a relationship this table to this table so I just uh, write another column like uh, em get id integer and just I use foreign key to make a relationship this table to this table right so I just write foreign uh, keyword and uh, and select the table name table name is imply so I just copy this table name and paste here then you need to uh, enter the parentheses and here uh, you need to enter the column name as you want to make a relationship so I just uh, make a relationship with imply table to address table so I just need to 
use this column name ID so I just copy this ID this table name and this ID copy it and paste here right then you need to run the sorry then you need to run the this uh, uh, query uh, all right what is problem oh, sorry this is a problem so I do not used comma so I insert uh, again comma uh, this problem has been solved so I just run this query this is second table name so I uh, check it a double D all and then I simply select this query and run the query here is the three columns first column name is ad id this column name is primary key identity and these columns uh, are attached this columns attached with imply table name uh, sorry imply table uh, first column name like this it means this uh, table and this table made relationship so I need to make another table so I just use same process create table contact this is my table name and then I use parenthesis and then CT ID and uh, type integer primary key identity and one by one and then address sorry uh, contact name contact number and then type in I use watcher because uh, I do not calculate any uh, numbers value etc then I need to insert a, uh, create another column to make a relationship this table contact table to address table right so write the column name uh, for example I use uh, ad get id integer foreign key references and then this table name I just copy this table name and paste here and then I need to column name to make a relationship so I just copy this column name because this is a main column uh, which is used to uh, primary key identity so I just copy this column name and paste here right so I just click select this these queries and uh, uh, select to run now after the creating three tables you need to make a store procedure but I uh, check all tables select steric from and contact here is a, our three tables I I met first table is a uh, imply and here is a three columns and second table name is address so first column name is uh, ID and second column name is address and third column name is em get ID this column name is relationship with this column name right this column name make a relationship with this column name it means address table attached with imply table name and then third column uh, sorry third table namely contact and there are three columns CTID contact number and third is add gate ID this column to make this column name he there are, are a relationship so the next step is you need to create a store procedure to insert the record in three tables using one, one query so I can tell you how you can do it so first of all use uh, make a store procedure so I write the store procedure query to insert the record in these tables first of all I write 
create a probe and a procedure name like uh, data and then I use parentheses and write as begin and and this parenthesis you need to pass the parameters or make the parameters as you want to insert the records uh, using stored procedure so I just write one two three four four columns sorry one two three four yes four columns so I just pass at the red name R N virtual and then uh, second name S virtual and third is third is address so I write it AD virtual and sorry salary is integer so I uh, do not use uh, virtual because uh, this is an integer value so I do no not use to virtual type then you need to enter fourth column name like uh, CT and I write the enter the type and values then you need to write the query here as you want to use these columns I want to insert these uh, record in three tables so I just write insert query insert into first you need to enter the main table name for example I have met first table name so I just copy this table name and uh, paste here and uh, insert the values you need to pass two values because this column name is required uh, sorry this table name is required one column and second column so I just write copy it and and paste here then copy it and paste here right then you need to make a variable to uh, match the record like I will tell you for example I write declare keyword and I make another new variable so I just uh, write emid and type integer and assign the value identity keyword double add the red and use identity identity is used to get ID this table name and assign this variable right so I just write this keyword this keyword is automatically get imply table ID and assign this variable then you need to write insert into uh, second table name like this table name second table name is address so I write a double d r and then values and then I pass first is my main column name like address I just copy it and then paste here then you need to uh, pass second parameter like this uh, column name so you need to copy this variable and paste here then you need to create declare another variable for example I declare another variable and assign same portion values because there are three tables first table required two columns imply tables require two columns because first column is automatically uh, increment numbers or I don't I don't use this column name and second table name required two columns so I just write second column name uh, query insert into and table name and values and pass two parameters first parameter is your first column name and second second parameter is 
uh, id uh, sorry imply uh, first id get uh, this variable and this variable I assign this uh, parameters so I just write and again identity and I write again uh, contact three third table name values and I just copy third va uh, fourth variable and paste here and then I just comma it and then paste copy it fourth and paste here so the this and this variables is different with above all the uh, column names or variables etc because uh, this is a uh, I define I I define this variables uh, if you want to change it you can do it for example I do not use ID or EM so I just copy it and paste it right there are no any problem to change the names like this col uh, this column or this column like thing so So I just run the all code or query and uh, here is a command is successfully. So I just run the procedure em uh, what is my procedure name data. So I write the data. this is a my procedure name and here you can see it the first parameter uh, is required and means virtual I insert simply my name is Asif and uh, second parameter name is salary so I do not use um, and third is location I write my location and uh, fourth is uh, contact number so I just write 0 3 1 2 4 5 etc then I write uh, sorry run the query then uh, you will see the record inserted three tables so I just select them and uh, press keyboard f5 button here is three rows are affected it means three tables I just go to above and I select three uh, tables name and I run the queries so you can see here this is a uh, first table name second table name and third table name so I just write this query to insert three tables record this is the best way to use identity keyword to insert multiple tables record using stored procedure so i hope you are understood as well thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe